The 2022 Zeus Pro is Onboard's latest 2-in-1 all-terrain electric skateboard, bringing with it a number of upgrades from the original Zeus, which was already a highly acclaimed board. The Zeus was one of the first production 2-in-1 boards to embrace a 13S battery system and also ditched the common double kingpin trucks for a more stable setup with traditional kingpin trucks. For a couple hundred dollars more, is the Zeus Pro worth the upgrade over the Zeus? Due to the lockdown in Shanghai, my henchman Alex and his henchman Chase Missing Tooth Parker tested the boards in Hangzhou. Let's start this review with the electronics. The most significant upgrade from the original Zeus is probably the battery. Two options are available for the Zeus Pro, Molisel M50A with 936 watt hours and Molisel P42A with 786 watt hours. Both options use a 13S4P configuration. Molisel batteries, especially the P42A, have lately become the gold standard in electric skateboards, with great capacity, performance, and longevity. If you like riding hard, I recommend picking the P42A pack, even though it has a slight lower capacity. Due to its much higher performance under load, it's going to be more efficient, so the range is probably not too different from the M50A option. It's also $100 cheaper. On the other hand, if you have a pretty chill ride style and just want the maximum range, go for the M50A option. A 5 amp fast charger is included in the box, which should charge the board from flat to full in about 4 to 5 hours, depending on the battery configuration. For the range, according to Onboard, the Zeus Pro will get up to 80 kilometers or 46 miles in a charge with the cloud wheels, and 55 kilometers or 35 miles with the pneumatic wheels, both using the M50A battery and with a 75 kilogram or 165 pound rider. Alex and Chase Missing Tooth Parker measured the Zeus Pro's range in two different configurations. With the P42A battery and 6 inch pneumatics, Alex got 39 kilometers or 24 miles. He weighed about 75 kilograms or 165 pounds and rode mostly on flat terrain. Alex pointed out that he did not fully inflate the tires because he liked having a more comfortable ride, so that used up a bit more battery. With the M50A battery and the BOA constrictors, Alex and Chase Missing Tooth Parker both rode the board, not at the same time. Alex did about half and Chase Missing Tooth Parker did the rest. Together, they got about 60 kilometers or 37 miles. They rode on a mixture of flat terrain and also some pretty steep hills. Chase Missing Tooth Parker weighed about 65 kilograms or 140 Three pounds. Keep in mind that those were just sample range numbers, and many things affect range, including your weight, how you're riding, tire pressure, inclines, temperature, etc. To get a very rough estimate of what you might get under different conditions, use the range estimator on my website, dequine.com. Like the original Zeus, the Zeus Pro sports two 170 kV 6374 motors from DXW, pretty standard nowadays from a board in this price range, and should have no problem handling all but the most extreme use cases. The mounts for them have the same anodizing treatment as the trucks and the wheels, with an updated design for improved clearance between the motor and the deck. Crossbars have also been added, improving efficiency of the motors and doubling as a bash guard. The Zeus Pro uses Hobbywing's latest eSkate speed controller, with acceleration and brake Making curves customized for the new cells. Like most electric skateboard nowadays, you can turn on the board with just the remote, without pressing a button on the board. The remote has an OLED display that shows your speed, speed mode, mileage, wheel size, battery percentage, etc. There are three speed modes plus a hidden turbo mode that's accessed by triple clicking the speed mode button. According to Alex, who mostly wrote the P42A version with 6 inch pneumatics, the acceleration and brake performance are both great. In his words, going uphill on a mountain was basically effortless. Speed modes 1, 2, and 3 are smooth and predictable like what you'd expect from a Hobbywing ESC, but turbo mode is noticeably more punchy. As the battery drains, there's no noticeable loss of power until the low voltage warning comes on at 25% battery. I don't really want to talk about the top speeds anymore because these boards are getting ridiculously fast, but if you want to know the top speed, go to dequan.com slash Zeus Pro. The Zeus Pro retains the same deck shape as the original Zeus, with the option to choose between forged and matte carbon as the deck material. The two materials should perform and feel practically the same, with the only difference being the aesthetics. The deck size is 985 by 260 millimeters, or 39 by 10 and a quarter inches. It is a double drop deck for a lower ride height and increased stability at higher speeds. 
The relatively wide deck and the shock absorbing grip tape make it more comfortable and ideal for long cruises. Alex really likes the deck, mainly for its appearance, which we'll talk about later. The 12 inch split angle traditional kingpin trucks from the original Zeus have been replaced with these mostly the same but more eye catching trucks. The new trucks have a forged hanger with a forged then CNC machined base plate. The extra precision and split angle of the base plates make the board a lot more predictable and less likely to wobble at high speeds. Machining only the base plate is a good move, as doing so to the hangers as well would have increased the cost by quite a bit with diminished returns. Those savings get passed down to you guys. The trucks come with hard 99A durometer longboard bushings, cone and barrel in front, and two barrels in the back. Pretty standard stuff, but what's different from just about every other Eastgate brand is that they come with Riptide WFB 96A pivot cups. These are some of the best pivot cups out there for high speed cruising. The WFB formula is self lubricating, which means your trucks will always ride smoothly without the need for constant maintenance. The Zeus Pro is the first electric skateboard that Alex tried that uses traditional kingpin trucks. He described them as very stable and having smooth turns. His only complaint is that the stock 99A bushings were too hard for him. Him, limiting the turn radius, so he switched out the roadside bushings for softer ones. 99A is really hard by the way. The Zeus Pro has several options for stock wheels. 120mm cloud wheels, 100mm boa constrictors, and 6 inch pneumatics. The cloud wheels are some of the most comfortable urethane wheels if you're riding mostly on bad roads due to their rounded profile and small contact patch. If you're looking for a more traditional longboard feel, you'll probably want the BOA constrictors. The smooth and wide contact patch and the soft 76A durometer provide more grip on pavement than the cloud wheels. But of course, the 6 inch pneumatic tires offer the most comfort and grip if you're willing to give up some range. With a sleek tread and narrow profile, these wheels are intended for mostly street use and some light off roading use. Onboard doesn't recommend using wheels bigger than 6 inches. You can use 7 inch, but you'll need to watch out for wheel bite. If this video has been helpful so far, do me a favor and hit the like button. According to Onboard's website, the Zeus Pro weighs about 13 kilograms or 29 pounds, which is about the same as other boards in this form factor. It's a little heavy and inconvenient to carry in your arm for more than a few minutes, but it is long enough that you can pull it. According to Alex, who is 180 centimeters or 5 foot 11, the motor guard scrapes the ground a bit if you're pulling the front truck. That's even if you're using the 6 inch wheels. The board does come with a pull handle, which should resolve that issue, but Alex chose not to install it for aesthetic reasons. Speaking of aesthetics, Alex really likes the way this board looks, especially with the forced carbon deck. He even likes the grip tape pattern and the mosquito repellent logo. It's an Asian thing. He also likes the oil slick parts and pointed out that they looked especially great in sunlight. The only issue with them is that they get fingerprints really easily, and he felt that there's a bit too much oil slick going on. I also think the oil slick looks pretty nice, but it just looks very aftermarket to me. The deck shape is really nice, but I personally don't like this grip tape design. I've definitely seen worse though. Overall, the appearance is a mixed bag for me. There are things that I really really like and things that I don't. How do you feel about it? Onboard generally does not accept returns and doesn't provide refunds after a product has shipped. The boards do come with a 6 month warranty to cover any manufacturing defects. If you encounter a problem with your board, you can send them an email with photos and videos explaining the problem. As long as the parts are under warranty, they'll send you replacement parts for free, including shipping. You can read more about their warranty and policies on their website. The Zeus Pro is for people who are on the fence about getting a 2-in-1 all-terrain board because of their double kingpin trucks. For high-speed longboarding trucks, the obvious better option is reverse kingpin trucks, but traditional kingpin would be the next best thing, and is still a big step up from double kingpin. This board is also for people who want the best Eastgate battery. Batteries wear down and lose performance over time. That's just a fact for any electronic device. Your phone is not going to perform the same after 3 years, and the same goes for your electric skateboard. Cell batteries are known for their resilience and longevity. So, at least in theory, the Zeus Pro and other boards that use Molycell batteries should last longer. But we'll have to see because this trend of using Molycell is fairly recent. 
Onboard has always been an important eSkate brand to follow. They might feel like just another factory pumping out boards using common parts, but their contributions to electric skateboarding have actually been significant. As far as I know, Onboard was the first to use Hobbywing speed controllers in their production electric skateboards. And today, I think most eSkate brands use Hobbywing. They were the first to release a dual belt drive board using Hobbywing. Today, there are many. For better or worse, Onboard was the first to release a direct competitor to Evolve in the 2-in-1 all-terrain form factor. And today, the market is flooded with boards in that category. With the Onboard Zeus, they were the first to release a 2-in-1 board that uses TKP trucks with split-angle base plates. As far as I know, today only one other brand uses those, and I wouldn't be surprised if other brands follow. But most importantly, Onboard is the first brand where if you use my referral discount code, you get an exclusive free t-shirt from me worth $69. That's in addition to the $150 you save on the Zeus or Zeus Pro by using my code. This exclusive, historical offer is available only for a limited time.